hey and thank you for clicking play and yes today we're going to have a look at snapper on the acorn electron i thought why not because we did play munchkin um, on the g7000 a few weeks ago um, and snapper is the next pac-man clone i would have played at home again predominantly in black and white so i might do some of that in post prod um, but um, a lot of fond memories of this clone of pac-man as well so let's get into it first of all let's you know there's the box back of the box not a lot on there let me just grab my new and improved glasses and basically guide the snapper through the maze eating blah 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 so just overview of you know if you're looking to buy this in the shop that's what you'd have gone by and the screenshot on the front not too deceiving screenshots on these that's fallen down again this box has seen better days but then as is the, the way with these you've got the more, further information including how to load your loading instructions there they always tell you to type in the name of the program but i found you don't generally need to i can't remember if i've tested this one and then further information as that folds out as well depending on the game the, you will have that as well so i really like these boxes they're really nice to collect actually and generally not expensive especially when there's nostalgia attached to them as always with myself that's not a noise from the acorn electron speaking of which let's turn the acorn electron off and on again because i know somebody will complain if you don't get to hear that wonderful booting up beep so bear with me There we go. Lovely. Haven't used this in a long time, so I'm glad it's booting up. And I think I've tested this, but I honestly can't remember. I certainly haven't loaded any Acorn Electron games off of the Sony tape deck yet, so this is gonna be a bit of an experiment because generally, uh, that's fully wound that way. So I'll need to rewind that first and foremost. Okay, why is that not going down? There we go, it is now. Rewind that, and I'm going to bring the volume down to about half, because generally, Electron games load at a lot lower volume than Spectrum games, is, is my finding. And while that's rewinding, load, quote, quote, Careful not to hit the delete key, uh, not the delete key, the break key, which is where you'd usually find the delete key on normal keyboards, because then you're basically going to reboot the machine. Look, oh, it reboots the whole machine. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, load. Oh, not load. I'm doing chain. There we go. Searching. Let's press play. Hope I've got these plugged in correctly. That's sounding very tight. I didn't reset that either. It says searching. That's sounding very tight in there. And of course you don't get to hear the noise through the electron like you do on the spectrum. Which is a bit of a pain. Anything? Just see if we're past the leader. We're past the leader. Let's unplug stuff. I might have had them plugged into the wrong sockets. Okay, there's the data. Just hit zero zero where the data begins. Just gonna maybe try plugging these in the other way around. There's no rem on this. So it won't there goes the box. It won't control the thing. There we go. I'd had it plugged in the wrong way around. Rookie mistake. Look at all the cat fluff I've just picked up. I've got half a cat on the edge of the box now. 
you probably can't see that. That, despite the creaky noises from this tape, seems to be loading okay. And with the size of that font, I do not need these glasses. That's, they're actually making it worse. That's uh, nice and crisp with my glasses off on that. Oh, here we go. Now I do get this, it's almost like a bit of a tuning creep. See how the image is sort of stretching? I have manually tuned that out in the past, but I just had to factory reset this screen, so I'm not gonna mess with it. We'll see how annoying the image is. Probably just run with it, to be honest, today. Still says loading, question, oh no. Loading five, loading six. So because there's a question mark there, does that mean it's failed? Let's just leave it. Now it says searching, searching eight. Okay, so it's not happy there. So we want it to search eight. We want it to load eight. Kind of lost its way a bit now. Okay, there's nine. We're at the beginning of eight. That's six. That's seven. There's eight. It's loaded eight now. It's loaded 9 now. It's loading A now. So when I see it says searching, I then try and go back and find the beginning of where it, st where it went from, where it says searching, sorry. I'll go back and find the last number that it successfully loaded. Um, generally seems to work on the Electron when you do that. First time loading from this cassette deck, so it's a good test. Um, this clone of Pac-Man, I mean, just looking at the screenshot, really, it's a lot more true to, <laughs> to Pac-Man than Munchkin. The main version of Pac-Man I've played, to be honest, is on that um, Namco arcade stick, which is a fairly faithful recreation, I find, I think. Um, and I think it's Sega Zombie that pointed me in the direction of the... But it's possibly, on one of his videos he did ages ago, he said it's possibly the NES port. Um, so if that is the case, that's a very good port. It's a very nice version of Pac-Man to play at home, I find. Or if you haven't got any NES, grab one of those Namco sticks. They come up cheap all the time. Loading 23. Oh, the tension. The tension trying to get this loaded. Oh, here we go. So we can stop that. Obviously, if this cassette had a uh, used the remote key, the remote cable, sorry, then of course that would have taken control of the deck as well. So, oh, that's a bit hideous up there, isn't it? That's not good up there. Something's not happy. It might be the electron itself, or that could be some signal interference. Because I think I've managed to tune that out before. I'll now have a quick mess about with tuning, but I'll, I'll cut it out of the video. Okay, um, this doesn't have a really fine tune, um, and so I'm not sure if the problem is... If the problem is the, the, the tuning or the acorn, electron itself. Let's just give it a go. Let's just give it a play. This is part of the patina of old machines. By the next time we do an Acon Electron video, hopefully I'll have improved this. Um, but we've got sound and quiet. Okay, we've got ZX and we've got... That's... What? <laughs> that's up and that's... What? That's not right. Oh yeah, that's 
up and that's down. They've gone down and up. ZX, up, down, S and Q and space bar or fire button to start. We've got color. Oh, the image is mostly fine. Okay, it's something to do with when it's beeping for a start. I think that's RF interference or I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I remember these. Yes, I remember these sound effects. Not the same as the original Pac-Man. I don't remember them having legs, but I definitely had this version. Unless there was a version where it didn't have legs and then they got copyright st a strike? I don't know. Copyright strike, that's a modern term for talking about an old game. You know what I mean? Taken to court. I think the Electron itself might have issues, which we will test in a bit. And I'll show you how. Um, I'll test when we do that. But let's just enjoy the game with the patina of an old machine not being perfect. Because that's... Oh, how it is. That's jumping all over the place. Oh, no. And I'd have played this predominantly, well, predominantly in black and white anyway. So it'd be good to revisit that. Um, in my parents' bedroom on the uh, little portable black and white TV. I like it. I like it as a port. I mean, it's, it's a Pac-Man clone. <laughs> What's to, I can't say, oh yeah, the muscle memory for, for snappers coming back. No, it's just, it's just Pac-Man, right? Just another version of Pac-Man. And much more Pac-Man than Munchkin. Oh, we'll have some of those. Maze is slightly different than Pac-Man, I'm noticing. Very slightly. Oh, AI's a bit meaner. Don't come after me. Okay. Let's wait for them to all stack up. Here we go. Have some of that. Oh, fine. You go that way. It's much easier with that little tune to tell when they're about to change back. I like it. The Electron really isn't a bad little beast, is it? Oh, he's changing, he's changing, and I've left some dots over here. Oh, 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 oh. It's a bit more forgiving than Munchkin, but not if I do that. Munchkin was pixel. If those things... Oh, it really doesn't like those screens, does it? If if the ghosts touched one single pixel of your, of your Munchkin... Um, on the G7000, you were gone, whereas this, there's quite a bit of overlap. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug this into my other screen over here via composite, which will be monochrome, so we can relive those black and white memories. Um, but um, it won't be going via RF, which means we'll see if the issue is the signal. I mean, the signal's stable there, or if it is something going on in the Acon Electron that I need to get looked at. Those of you can feel free to give me advice in the comments as to what could possibly be going wrong if that is the issue. Right, I'm going to turn you off and then turn you back on again. Hope you're okay with that. Okay, I actually didn't need to move you at all um, because um, there, there will be a slight, because I thought I did, so I did move the tripod. Um, but this screen obviously has composite in, so I've got composite going from this into the composite in on here. You're still seeing RF. Let's switch to composite now. See that flickering? I mean, that's definitely to do with RF signal interference, right? If I go to input, switch across to AV, hit OK. Now, obviously, it's monochrome because I haven't done the composite color mod. Um, but maybe this will be the catalyst for me to get an off my button doing that eventually um, now is because that is a pretty solid picture there, but obviously it's monochrome. Let's have a game. 
At least I'm getting to relive the black and white memories, which is nice. Let's see if it flashes around. Nah, rock solid. So there's nothing wrong with the Acorn Electron other than maybe an issue with the RF modulator inside it, which is an easy fix. It, it, it'll be better for me to take this to composite anyway. And I mean, really, you're probably shouting at the screen saying, why haven't you done that ages ago? So it's a very simple mod as far as I'm aware. Two blobs, uh, one blob of solder across uh, a single joint, just bridging the joint and gives you color composite, apparently. Look up, I'm not gonna make a video about it, just hopefully next time you see me do an Acorn Electron video, that's what I'll have done. Um, and I think that'll be worth it for me and worth it for you. But this is nice. This is nice to see this in black and white again. It's funny, because this is how I played it most of the time. There we go, we didn't even need to fake it in post-production. It was, a, it was a treat to go down to the big TV in the lounge and play games in colour. That was true of the Philips G7000 and of this, when we had them. Oh, 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 can they come through here? They don't seem to be wanting to. I wonder if they can. Can I bait them into coming through here? Maybe they're not capable of. Oh, he didn't like it. He didn't. Oh, I don't think they can come through. They. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> they certainly can. Oh, I ate it. I didn't mean to eat it. Get him. Yeah. Oh, he's out. Oh, right. Let's just see how far I can go in black and white. And uh, then that's the conclusion of this video. Let's see how, how many maps I can clear. I'll have that. They've baited me and I've gone for it. Oh, no, no. Oh, he went the wrong way. Oh, he's happy. Have it. It. Oh. oh, not good, not good, this is not good. They're angry now. They're a little bit angry at me, I think. Oh yeah, here you go. Hey, hey, you like that, don't you? There we go. Oh, that was close. He was just on the turn. Oh, he went the other way. I like it. I like it. Right, we've only got one of these left. Oh, have it. Oh, he's taking risks. He's taking risks. Oh, he's. Oh, he knew what I was after there. Oh, 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 this is going to be stupid, but. Are they more stupid? Yes, they are. That's that's how I get through life. I always count on the other guy being slightly more stupid than me. There we go. Oh, there's one! <laughs> I, missed. I thought I finished the map. There's one more dot over here. That was not good. That was a waste of a life. Here's a black and white video for you. Ooh, not again. He keeps baiting me into going too early on that. I like sort of, yeah, clear a bit, a few extra dots on each bit of the path sometimes. No, don't like it. Ooh. Have the wife coming for him in it because she likes to be a Pac Man. She's probably like, Is that Pac Man? Nope. Oh. Is that game over? Game over. Look at that. Nice solid screen. So it's just the RF signal on this, probably being a bit dicky. Um, enjoyable to revisit this in black and white. I will composite mod this now. I have seen the light 
and it's got slightly more color than this. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.